in much tighter funding circumstances. Question number eight, Aaron Gilmore. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Building and Construction. Has the government changed the system for dealing with earthquake-prone buildings? Honourable Morris Williamson. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, not yet. Right now, a Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment consultation document which outlines proposals for improving the earthquake-prone buildings policy system in our country is out for public comment. But it's only a starting point, Mr Speaker. We need the public's feedback to set a national policy that balances risk versus cost. Submissions can be made up until the 8th of March, and I would encourage people to put one in. Supplementary question, Aaron Gilmore. Supplementary question to the Minister. Is the criticism of these proposals from a number of mayors valid? Honourable Morris Williamson. Mr Speaker, no, because we haven't yet decided on any new policy. I would encourage all those mayors to carefully read the consultative document and then make a submission. I want to tell the House that the Government is listening to all those submissions. We won't be going to any extreme policy that sees, quotes, the main streets of all our provincial towns demolished. There will be exemptions for things like heritage buildings. And, sir, I truly believe uh, that when a discussion document has a picture of a pretty old, rumpty old wool shed and says this won't apply to hay sheds, wool sheds and other uh, used things, and then mayors say that's going to cause a whole lot of problems. They really do need a remedial reading course. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Aaron Gilmore. Supplementary question to the Minister. How much could changes to the earthquake-prone buildings policy system cost? Mr. Speaker, if Honourable Morris Williamson. Mr. Speaker, if we use the figures based on the starting point that the Royal Commission have suggested, the estimated cost of the scheme would be around about 1.7 billion for the whole country. Given that the current earthquake-prone policy that's in place is estimated to cost around 1 billion, it means that if we did adopt the starting point, we're only about a 700 million expenditure over 15 years. When I hear the mayors of Timaru South saying in their region alone it'll cost 1.8 billion just for them, I really do find that my ghast is flabbered. <laughs> Question number nine, Darian Fenton. Where is it? Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Does he stand by his statement that the